So this is uh, video number nine in my canned fish series, and I've just been doing this for, yeah, mostly during the pandemic. It's been really fun. It's given me some other options to get some good nutrients and things like that. Give people alternatives for when you're traveling to eat, you know, some kind of snack on the road if you need a quick bite and you don't want to stop at a fast food place and eat that stuff for sure. So this is a better alternative. Uh, it's not something that I plan on doing every day. They're all pretty much kind of gross. There's been a couple that I've liked, but... So far, I've done tuna, sardines, salmon, smoked trout, um, jumbo squid, mackerel, hoi oysters, and anchovies, all out of a can. Uh, so far, the smoked trout was my best, uh, my best tasting one that I had, actually. Um, let's see. My hair's growing. I cut it on October 1st to uh, know my cat. My cat, uh, Whoopi, she has cancer, and no, she's not losing her fur, but it's just something I did to just kind of honor her. I don't know. Just... I've done that before, even when my mother was ill, and I just cut my hair. I'm going to let it grow as long as Whoopi's with us. I'm not going to cut it again, and so I'm hoping it'll grow all the way down to the, the bottom of my ass. <laughs> that would be awesome. And awkward, because I've never had hair that long before. So, But I have had hair like down to my shoulders before when I was in the military, and then I ended up cutting it myself because I got sick of having to pull it up and get it off my collar. Anyway, that's beside the point. So today, um, you're probably wondering what I'm going to have here. I'm still looking for those... Um, pickled pig's feet so if anybody happens to know where I can get those um I'd rather just go into a store and get them locally somewhere um but I live in such a small town that we just don't have that option right now so today we're doing a uh, whole baby clams I'm already dripping all over and uh let's take a look here bumblebee whole baby clams it says when I looked it up online it says there's like between two and three hundred in a can. I mean, I'm like, they must be really tiny. I have no idea. I've never had a clam. It does have some good nutrients, though. It's got good protein, good iron, good zinc, good magnesium. B12, it's loaded with B12, like way more than you need in a day. So that's kind of cool. So those are, and iron. I think iron is the other one that I didn't mention. So we're going to give it a shot. I always give a sniff test first just to see how it tastes. I mean, see how it smells. Oh, wow. <clears throat> um, ooh, this one's going to be hard. This is the probably the grossest smelling one I've I've had yet out of all the ones that I've had. Um, let's see if I here. Let me tilt this down a little bit. That's what we're looking at in there. Like the clams are just kind of soaked in water, I guess. I don't know. I don't even see what they. Yeah, didn't even say what they're in. I think it's just water. But I'm just gonna give it a bite full. Oh man, this one looks like poop. Honestly. See if I can. Um, oh, look at those hanging things. This is kind of like those oysters I had in a can that tastes like fish butthole. It's kind of right up here. This one really, really, really grosses me out, so that's why it's taken me a minute. Whew. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh, most disgusting thing. Um, oh, I can't even take another bite. Oh. I almost can't even swallow this. Um, it's like it's got little dirt particles in it. I think anything like that, when you get it out of the the water and it's comes from water like that, it has that potential of having dirt in it or something. It's crunchy when I bite into it. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't recommend that. I've heard clams are good otherwise, like fresh clams, I guess. Buy them in a can that are already shucked. Um, I can't even swallow it. Here. Crunchy. I'm still biting. Like, I'm eating sand. Worst thing I've ever eaten in my whole life, probably. It just keeps getting better. Alright. Really, that's it. Short, sweet, to the point. Not sure what I'm doing next. i got to find those pickled pig's feet. And in the meantime, who knows what's happening. Uh, and I am getting ready to, um, in the next week, I'm going to be taking off for the winter. I'm getting out of my camper. And I'm going to focus on writing my book. I've been working on a book. In case anybody didn't know, it's going to be a good one. I've already got most of the material ready for it. I just got to get it all organized and a few more things to edit, some other things to write from uh, the beginning, that kind of thing, but some I've always wanted to do. I'm also going to be taking that uh, time the next several months, three to four months at least, working on uh, a Christmas CD that I started. I've already got Silent Night recorded, um, and I'm doing that right here uh, with my own gear, which I'm going to take with me. Uh, just being in the camper in the winter has just been too difficult. I've been having a lot of issues with my health uh, more than 
usual and it's been really hard on my body just do, emptying my tanks for anyone who's ever even used a camper and know what that's all about it's hard especially in the winter so i'm giving myself a break i'm going to be around a bunch of songwriters and musicians and that's going to be fabulous but i'm also going to have a lot of isolation so uh, that's what i'm looking for so let's see what happens next i'll keep you posted have a great day